Hey guys, it's your boy Justin from Let's Get Girls. And today I want to make a video about dealing with rejection, okay? So in pickup and when you're going out to meet girls, rejection is very fucking normal. But just as my two students this weekend experienced, it fucking hurts. It's very fucking brutal. Uh, it'll make you kind of go home, feel sick, you'll lose your appetite. And there's a reason why. It's pretty much because in the caveman days, if you were to feel rejected, you essentially feel like you've been kicked out of your tribe. So your body goes into kind of like a fight or flight mode where, like, let's say you were to be thrown into a forest by yourself, no food, no clothes. Your body would ensure that you have no appetite, so you don't want to eat, so you reserve energy, so you don't feel like doing much. So that way, because of that rejected feeling, that like kind of anxiety you get, You'll feel like you'll survive by feeling sick, feeling lose, a loss of appetite in the moment. It's funny how it works. That literally getting rejected, you can lose your appetite or you can be so emotionally overwhelmed that you'll be up all night. And not only have I experienced this, but all my students experience this. Uh, pretty much anyone who goes out to talk to girls will experience this. Pretty much what you have to do is you have to desensitize yourself to rejection by meeting a lot of people, talking to a lot of girls, and having a lot of fun. And essentially, look at the rejection as something to look forward to so you can desensitize yourself to it. Now I have a few videos here, uh, in-field examples of what rejection looks like. So, here's the first video. Hi, hello, I'm Justin. Hi. Wait, who are you? <laughs> Did you get that on video? Yeah. Fuck. So as you see, the rejection is like, the girl's smiling, but it's just a mismatch communication, right? Uh, it's more, most likely that I wasn't clear in my intentions. I was just like, hey, stop, I'm Justin. And so it's a lack of chemistry because of the miscommunication. And that's essentially what most rejection is. It's a mismatch of chemistry, a mismatch of communication. If your communication was completely effective, you could essentially find that chemistry. For example, like I actually had to approach my girlfriend six fucking times before I got her number. And then she started coming clubbing with me. And then eventually, we started hooking up and then started dating. So, a lot of times that chemistry won't even be there initially, but it's something that can be built upon. Here's a second video clip. Hey! We're not supposed to be yelling. Tickle, tickle! <laughs> Yo, can you guys like fuck already? <laughs> so, Vanul. See my boy Vanul. Vanul just fucking uh what the he just fuck? got he just had sex in front of me. I just saw what? two flaccid dicks. I, I kept trying to whip my dick out. Here's what happened. So uh we brought these girls over and we were saying we we're gonna have like an orgy, right? But know. they wouldn't fuck me. We were we were, but like Vanul was fucking that chick. It's like so that like, one? That one, the, the, the one he's holding, they were fucking. No, so Vanilla no, fucks one chick, fun. and while they were fucking, like, while she was sucking his dick, he pulls the other one, she starts sucking his dick as well. Okay. Here's why I couldn't get in there. I was being too needy, and I didn't have the freedom from outcome. I kept saying, freedom from outcome, Justin, freedom from outcome. But I didn't have that freedom from outcome, so I lost set, right? How, how's life? <laughs> you smell like dick. <laughs> well, it you, just, you smell like I latex just, condom. Just, you just what? I just blew him, so... Yeah. True... So essentially what happened in the second video is my buddy, he met up with some girls and asked me to come with him. And so we go to meet up with the girls, but they want him and not me. It ended up being us in his room, the girl lying down on me while he fucks the girl. And none of the girls wanted to hook up with me. And that was my feeling of rejection, where it was almost like a tribal effect, where the alpha guy, I wasn't the alpha guy in that situation, he was. Because he was the one providing the value, he was the one being non-needy, and he was the one, it was his place. And so, the girl's literally laying on me while he's fucking her. And then, one of the other girls actually goes and sucks his dick because he's being fun. And he's like, oh, this is a flavored condom, it's great, you guys should try it. And I felt the feeling of rejection because I was essentially the dude who wanted to hook up with girls and I was very needy for it. And I thought we were going to bust out into like a big orgy. But no, he's the one who ended up with all the girls. So it's more of a, 
alpha male versus beta male kind of rejection where you also feel bad about yourself because you feel like you've been rejected by the tribe or that you're like the bottom guy. Again, you're going to have to desensitize yourself to these situations. And for most guys who are new at this, they're probably in this because they've been in that situation where they are that beta male. And you want to eventually make yourself so attractive, so non-needy, so great vibes that you are that alpha male. It's pretty much because girls are essentially like cats. They go to the shine your object. If you do something cooler, more fun, more chill, less needy, they're going to go to that. And now check out the last video of my buddy Kavork actually getting rejected by a girl's dad. Excuse me. Kavork, what's your name? Kavork, two yeah, seconds, two I seconds. I'm, I, I like men. I like men. Oh, uh, that's me. I like men. <laughs> okay, three Asian chicks. There's a group of five, like seven Asian chicks. Hi, two seconds. Say I'm Godzilla. <laughs> Open with, hey, I'm Godzilla. I'm Godzilla. Rawr. Godzilla. Stop them. Start chasing them. Start chasing them. Be like, ah, I'm Godzilla. I'm here to destroy the city. <laughs> Godzilla. Rawr. I'm here to destroy the city. Whoa. Hi, Kavork. What's your name? Nah. Hey, spin. 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 We done. Salsa. We be all night. Hey, hey, we're just we're just joking around. I know. I I was just joking. You're on camera. Oh shit! Oh shit! Did he get punched? Tell me on camera. No, no. Say your camera. Say your camera. Oh fuck! We shouldn't. We shouldn't. No, no. Drop it. Drop it. No, no camera. No camera. So pretty much what happened in the video is Kavork was pretty much treating the street like a nightclub. He opened a girl really strong, being physical, being like, "Oh, spin!" But it's because we were recording a video for his prank channel, so we were trying to get good reactions. And the girl was smiling. She was giggling. She's like, "Ah, right." But it's kind of awkward for her because she's with her friends. And she's with your dad. And so you literally see the dad just go push Kavork off. And he's like, get out of here. And the girl's like, oh, it's my dad. Right, so the, the dad instinctually feels like, I have to protect my young. This guy's an outside threat. And the dad is the alpha male in that tribe, right? In that little uh, group of theirs. And so Kavork coming in, like the wandering nomad, he's an outsider. And so that's essentially what has happened. Like the dad pushes him off to defend his girls. And so that's another way of being rejected, being rejected by guys, being rejected from the tribe in general, being rejected from that group. And so you want to pretty much desensitize yourself to all kinds of rejections. And these are three main types of rejections, right? Being just a lack of communication, being rejected from the tribe, and then being the bottom guy of the tribe. Rejection never goes away. No matter how much you go out, no matter how attractive, emotionally, physically, overall you become, you will still get rejected by a small portion of girls. When you start, it'll, it'll possibly be like 90% of the girls you talk to are rejecting you. But as you get very attractive, like most people see, say it's like a third of the girls will like full on reject you and a third of the girls will kind of be iffy and a third of the girls will like you. Uh, and you, as you get really good at this, when you're really on, pretty much no one will reject you. Almost no one, maybe like 10% of the people. And so you just have to accept it as normal. Getting rejected makes you more grounded. It boosts up your emotional immune system. So you feel like you can take more. You can deal with more bullshit. So if some bullshit's thrown at you uh, to take you kind of off course, you can kind of use your emotions your grounded emotions to keep you on track, right? And just keep going up and up. I'm just getting the video on this note. Go out as much as you can, and if you're new at this, you want to get rejected as much as you fucking can. You want to go into it, trying. You want to try, okay? You do want to fucking try. You want to meet the girls and try to push as far as you can. But you want to learn how to deal with that rejection early in so that you're not scared later on in life about getting rejected because it is very, very fucking normal. So go out guys, learn a lot, learn a shit ton and get rejected.